Throughout its lifespan, the typical car can experience a variety of mechanical problems, some of which are more serious than others. Knowing how to identify and fix such problems can mean the difference between a minor setback and serious frustration. The standard vacuum leak is one of the most typical, yet frequently misunderstood, mechanical problems. A vacuum leak can be accompanied by a variety of additional symptoms, depending on how severe it is. Unfortunately, some of these symptoms may make a vehicle less safe to drive overall. Watch the video to learn more about the various symptoms of a vacuum leak, what causes these leaks and how to remedy such issues. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. What is a vacuum leak? The most straightforward definition of a vacuum leak is the unintentional introduction of unmetered air through one or more damaged hoses, gaskets, or components into the engine's intake. This unmetered air is a problem because it has a propensity to alter the predetermined air-to-fuel ratio in an engine, which interferes with combustion. However, one must first become familiar with the general concept of engine vacuum in order to comprehend the implications of a vacuum leak. In an engine, vacuum, or negative pressure, is produced as each piston descends after combustion, or during the intake stroke. Through open intake valves, this essentially creates a suction that draws incoming air into each individual cylinder. The throttle body of an engine measures how much air is injected into each cylinder. With respect to system demands, this component has a butterfly that opens and closes, changing the amount of air available for combustion. However, if an intake system leaks downstream of the throttle body, allowing unmetered air into the intake tract itself, the effectiveness of this metering is negated. The predetermined air-to-fuel ratio of an engine is subsequently disrupted, which has the propensity to result in a variety of drivability-related symptoms. Symptoms of a vacuum leak A vacuum leak may present with a number of different symptoms. While some of these symptoms are serious threats to a car's general drivability, others are merely cosmetic. Nevertheless, when trying to solve the problem at hand, being aware of the various symptoms linked to a vacuum leak can be quite helpful. The most typical signs of engine vacuum leaks include a few of the ones listed below. Erratic idling. Vacuum leaks frequently result in an engine's errant idle, which is most frequently noticed as a higher than normal idle. A car's tachometer may also appear to fluctuate at idle, varying by up to 300 to 400 RPM in a matter of seconds. This specific symptom is typically more common when there is a significant vacuum leak. Check engine light. Vacuum leaks almost always result in an accompanying check engine light. When the check engine light comes on, it means that one or more operational problems have caused a diagnostic fault code to be stored. The PCM, ECM of an engine has determined that, in the event of a vacuum leak, the fuel trims have started to trend in a positive, or lean, direction. Vacuum leaks are a common cause of the trouble codes P171 and P174. Rough engine operation. A significant vacuum leak can result in an engine misfiring or backfiring. Again, this is a result of unmetered air entering the intake manifold of an engine, which alters the vehicle's predetermined air-to-fuel ratio. This almost exclusively shows up as a condition where someone is noticeably thin. Stalling or hesitation. A vacuum leak can, in the worst scenarios, actually cause an engine to sputter or stall. This is because whenever unmetered air is introduced into the intake tract of an engine, the predetermined air-to-fuel ratio is compromised. Unfortunately, depending on the environment in which a stall occurs, this symptom is potentially dangerous. Strange noises. A strange squealing, whistling, or hissing noise is frequently present when there is a vacuum leak. This noise is made when the intake gasket or vacuum hoses of an engine pull air through tiny cracks. Fortunately, when trying to find the vacuum leak in question, this symptom frequently proves helpful. Simply listen for the source of the whistling or hissing to pinpoint the location of the leak in the engine bay of a car. Common Vacuum Leak Reasons There are several underlying causes of vacuum leaks in engines, some of which are far more serious than others. When attempting to make any necessary repairs, having a solid understanding of these underlying problems is of incomparable value. Here are a few of the most typical reasons for engine vacuum leaks. Damaged Intake Hose the plastic intake hose found on most cars connects the engine's throttle body to the air filter housing. Unfortunately, the constant exposure to heat causes these tubes to become brittle over time. When changing the air filter element, these intake tubes are frequently damaged as well. The damaged hose in question must be replaced in order to resolve these problems. Dry Rotted Vacuum Hoses One of the most frequent causes of vacuum leaks in engines is dry rotted vacuum hoses. These hoses eventually dry out and crack under repeated exposure to heat and vibration. Hairline cracks eventually start to appear, all of which are capable of sending unmetered air to the intake manifold of an engine. 
stuck EGR valve. The emissions control system of a vehicle is not complete without an EGR valve. This valve enables the feeding of exhaust gases into the intake manifold of an engine for additional combustion. This reintroduction of exhaust gases, though, only happens at certain times. A vacuum leak will be produced if carbon fouling causes the EGR valve to become stuck, allowing improperly channeled exhaust gases to enter the intake. Leaking Intake Manifold Gasket The intake manifold of an engine can deteriorate over time. When this happens, the intake manifold of an engine receives outside air without regard for metering from beneath the hood of a moving vehicle. This results in a lean condition on one or both of an engine's banks, which affects a car's ability to drive. Unfortunately, repairs are not always quick or inexpensive. Compromised PCV Valve or Hose The positive crankcase ventilation valve in a car removes extra combustion gases from the crankcase and reintroduces them to the engine's intake for additional combustion. However, as they age, these valves or the hoses that go with them frequently fail, resulting in a sizable vacuum leak. If this happens, replacement is required. Cracked Intake Manifold Rarely, the intake manifold of an engine may actually crack, allowing unrestricted airflow through any open intake valves. Although an intake manifold can fail as a result of poor casting techniques, engine overheating is the most common cause of this. Replacement after such a failure is frequently expensive and time-consuming. Leaking Brake Booster Diaphragm The majority of brake boosters in vehicles are attached to the intake manifold of an engine via one or more vacuum lines. This assembly's diaphragm uses an intake vacuum to provide brake assistance as noted. But any crack in this diaphragm will result in a sizable vacuum leak. A hazardous situation will result from the compromised power-assisted brakes of a vehicle. Can you fix a vacuum leak at home? A vacuum leak is indeed fixable by yourself. Finding the leak's actual source is necessary for this, though. Depending on how severe the leak is, this procedure alone may prove to be difficult. A strategy for appropriate engine repair can be developed once the cause of a vacuum leak has been identified. Some vacuum leaks are inherently more challenging to fix than others. This is due to the fact that a compromised intake gasket or a dry rotted hose could be the cause of a vacuum leak. While the first of these problems can be fixed in a matter of minutes, the second is much more complicated and frequently takes hours to fix.